hello guys welcome back to my channel so now uh, previously i defined how to design a notch filter using a twin t notch filter configuration and operation amplifiers so in this video i would uh, i would show you the difference between the notch filter and the band stop filter so <coughs> actually the band pass, uh, band stop filter is com uh, is found by the combination of a basic RC low pass filter with the RC high pass filter. We can form a simple band pass filter that will pass a range or band of frequencies either side of two cut off frequency points. But we can also combine these low and high pass filter sections to produce another kind of RC filter network called a band stop filter. Okay, which can block or at least severely attenuate a band of frequencies within these two cut off frequency points. The band stop filter is another type of frequency selective circuit that functions in exactly the opposite way to the band pass filter. The band pass filter I have already made the video on Sarin key band pass filter which you can find on my channel. So the band stop filter is also known as band reject filter same as the notch filter and it passes all frequencies with the exception of those within a specified stop band which is greatly attenuated. If the stop band is very narrow and highly attenuated over a few hertz then this stop band filter is referred to as the notch filter as we have seen in our previous video yesterday. Okay, Just like the band pass filter the band stop filter rejects or notch filter is a second order filter having two cutoff frequencies commonly known as minus 3 db or half hour points producing a wide stop band bandwidth between these two minus 3 db points the function of a band stop filter is to pass all those frequencies from zero that is dc up to its first lower cutoff frequency point fl that is F low and passes all those frequencies above its upper that is second cutoff frequency that is F high but blocks all or reject all those frequencies which lie in between the F high and F low that is known as its bandwidth. So now guys we would move to the calculation of the band stop filter and I will show you what are their formulas. Okay guys, so here is the calculation or the band stop filter. As we can see, um, here I have already uh, pasted the schematic which I have made the schematic for, uh, in LT Spice for you guys for sake of ease. Okay, so now let's suppose we take our cutoff frequencies, lower cutoff frequency at 200 Hz and upper cutoff frequency to be at 800 Hz. Right, and we will calculate the geometric mean. Now, the formula for the lower cutoff frequency is 1 upon 2 pi RC. Here, I have used R1 here according to the schematic R1 and C1 according to the schematic C1. Okay, so now uh, previously, as we selected the capacitance to be equals to 0.1 microfarad, here we also assume 0.1 microfarad capacitance and so we will calculate the value of r so the value of r1 would be 7958 ohms here i have calculated similarly the formula for the upper cutoff frequency is exactly same 1 upon 2 by rc whereas the value of r2 and c2 uh, value of r2 would be calculated and value of c2 uh, we have assumed again to be 0.1 microfarad right so here in upper cutoff frequency we have 800 hertz upper cutoff frequency f high and just for the sake of information the higher cutoff frequency is working here as the high pass filter that is the high pass filter is a filter which passes all the frequencies above this 800 hertz frequency whereas the low pass filter is the filter which passes all the frequencies below 200 hertz right so 
we would calculate the value of R2 and it comes to be equals to 1990 ohms. Now the geometric mean is calculated with the help of the formula square root of the multiplication of F low and F high. So we got 400 hertz cutoff frequency, uh, center frequency that is geometric mean 400 hertz. And the value of Q factor is calculated same like as we did in the NOS filter. That is the Q factor is the ratio of the uh, center frequency to the bandwidth. And bandwidth as we know is the difference between the upper cutoff frequency and the lower cutoff frequencies. So we got the value of Q equals to 0 0.667 which in terms of db would be around minus 3.5 db you can calculate from the formula that is 20 log of 0 0.667 so you you would get minus 3.5 db lastly i have pasted the note here the last stage of the opam that is u3 that is this opam this is this is the opam which is working as the uh, inverting summing amplifier this is because we would sum the signal from the low pass filter and from the high pass filter into a one output so this would be the output which would be which we would analyze in our simulation so this op-amp is here only to combine the two outputs right and this I have mentioned in the last note okay let's move on to the simulation Okay, so here we are going to simulate our circuit which we had already seen the calculation the formulas for and I have already placed all the circuit here for sake of saving time and for ease. So I would simply click run here and here as you can see this is the response we have got from the band stop filter right it is starting from 0 db so that is already very okay and as we can see unlike noise filter the band is very wide unlike noise filter so this is the basic difference between the band stop filter and the noise filter that the band stop filter has its bandwidth very wide and not a very deep steep notch unlike the noise filter and this, as we can see, the center geometric frequency is 400 hertz. As you, as you guys can see, 400 hertz as we calculated from the formula square root f low multiply f high. That is 400 hertz. And our upper cutoff frequency is at 800 hertz, as you can see here. Yeah. 800 hertz, which is around minus 4 dB. Uh, the, uh, which is also okay and I will place another cursor number 2 here on minus 4 dB and we can see here it is 200 Hz okay so our bandwidth is 600 Hz our uh, geometric mean is at 400 Hz our lower cutoff is at 200 Hz and upper cutoff is at 800 Hz with the minus 4 dB roll off minus 4 dp cutoff points right okay so this is the uh, analysis of the band stop filter and uh, i would like to tile these windows windows so you can see the difference here this was the notch filter that we simulated yesterday in previous video as you can see that notch is very deep and very steep and very narrow very precise and it was filtering only one kilohertz of signal which is exactly at one kilohertz with a few hertz of bandwidth unlike the band stop filter in which we see the notch is not very deep and it is basically not a notch but a flattened band stop filter if we can increase the bandwidth more here like this 
and other cut off frequency high cut off frequency at, at this point then we can see a flattened band pass band stop a flattened band stop but since i have here taken the band width as 600 hertz and lower cut off at 200 hertz and upper cut off at 800 hertz so this is not a very flat band stop filter but it is a band stop filter right guys okay so that is it if you guys have any question please feel free to ask me leave your comments and please do like and share my videos with your friends okay take care bye bye